There are four types of receptors. Ligand-gated receptor, enzyme-linked receptor, G-protein-coupled receptor, intracellular receptors. Receptors have specific site to bind to molecules, or ligand. This is called a lock and key model. In ligand-gated receptors, the cell membrane requires specific ligand-gated channels for movement of hydrophilic molecules through it. First, ligand binds to the receptor, then the receptor gate opens. For example, acetylcholine binding to nicotinic receptors. In this example, sodium enters the cell and electrochemical gradient is created resulting in depolarization. In enzyme-linked receptor, the transmembrane protein of the receptor are enzymes, or closely associated with enzyme. For example, tyrosine kinase receptor. The binding of the ligand induces dimerization of the receptor, which activates its tyrosine kinase activity through autophosphorylation and phosphorylates other intracellular enzymes sequentially. The phosphorylation status of the enzyme may result in activation or inactivation, resulting in various cellular responses. With the gene-protein-coupled receptor, first the ligand binds to the receptor, which causes structural changes in the receptor and in turn changes the shape of the G-protein, which reduces GTP to GDP. This leads to the separation of the alpha subunit from beta and gamma units. This, in turn, activates other enzymes and effector proteins. Intracellular receptor. Ligands that pass through the cell membrane enter the cell and into the nucleus, crossing the nuclear membrane. After entering the nucleus, the ligand binds to the intracellular receptor. This can alter the transcription of DNA within a cell.